Hey, it is Friday. It is time for a little q and I'm also going to do a bit of a channel update, even though this is really for my other channel. First up, we are full blown into review season. This is the best time of year to be a YouTuber who reviews tech stuff because we've got, we've had Samsung release stuff, we've had Apple release stuff, we've now had a Google press conference. Uh, they announced the Pixel. Uh, obviously we had the Microsoft Surface event. We might have another event for Apple coming up and plus all these products are rolling in, things to review and it's really exciting. It's really fun because this is the time of year you get to get your hands on all this new tech. Because of that, I've been rolling out a lot of videos and I've been spending a lot of time doing reviews and just keeping up with the news and the thing that's kind of fallen behind are these videos. I didn't get a QA and a video out two weeks ago uh, and I'm not sure how I'm going to follow up. I don't have an art update because again, I feel kind of bad about this. That That's one of the things that I've kind of fallen behind on. In the middle of all this, we're getting new software updates. I have my hands on Procreate 5. It's pretty amazing but I haven't really had the opportunity to really get in there and play with it because I'm playing with so many other things. Adobe Fresco just came out. I've been playing a lot with that. So all this new stuff is coming out all at once and it's hard to kind of keep track of it and, and get good videos out on it. But but at the end of the day, it's, it's also a good time to be making this stuff. So with that update out of the way, I've got some questions to answer. First question is from Juan and he basically wants to know, uh, he's thinking about getting an, uh, a, like a Mac mini and he wants to know if he can use an iPad as a second screen using sidecar or basically use the, uh, the iPad as a main screen for a Mac mini using sidecar. And I'm, my hunch is that you can not, you can use it as a second screen with the iPad mini or iMac mini mac mini mac mini but in order to turn on sidecar you need to have the screen available to you to go to the top and click share my screen with my ipad and if you don't have that to initiate it with your ipad you can't turn sidecar on i could be wrong on that but that's my hunch i think you need a screen to begin with before you can use your iPad as a second screen. This question is from Marshall who wants to know, what is the best way to monetize my art? Uh, this is a phenomenal question and it's so good that it's going to be turned into a video on my channel sometime. Maybe not to the beginning of next year. Like I said, there's a lot of tech stuff coming out so I don't know if I'm gonna have time. But when that starts to slow down, I'm gonna be looking for other topics to cover on the main channel and that's probably one of them. This question is from William who has an older iPad mini for his daughter to draw on and he wants to know if there's anything more intuitive than say Procreate that's available for it. And I would say Probably not. Um, it depends on how old your daughter is. There might be, like if she's really young, there might be some coloring book apps and things like that. But I think when I'm thinking about the other apps available, like uh, Art Studio Pro is a great app, but I think there's more interface elements than there are in Procreate. So Procreate is more streamlined and simple. Same things with like Medibang and some of the other apps I'm thinking of. I think Procreate might be the way to go here. Juan says, I haven't found a decent review of the Samsung Notebook 9 Pro 2019. Um, it's a basically that's a two in one computer type thing. And he wants to know if I plan on reviewing it because it uses a Wacom EMR pen, which I tend to like a lot better than the Ntrig pens out there. Um, I'm probably not going to be reviewing it and here's why. When you review older hardware, people just aren't as interested. There's kind of a window there in which you have to kind of get your reviews out. Since it's several months old, what's gonna happen is that the interest probably isn't going to be there as much. People aren't, aren't looking at it quite as much. And then also there's gonna be a new product probably coming out sometime early, mid next year. So it wouldn't even have that long tail of views that it could kind of build up over time. So I tend not to review older hardware. There's some exceptions here or there, um, but for the most part, no. Now, uh, since I do have a lot of those sponsorships rolling in now, I have been buying more hardware with the money that I'm making. And now that I have that, I. I want to dive deeper into the Windows 2-in-1 world, and that's one of the ones I want to check out. So the next year's version is definitely on my radar, but this year's uh, probably not going to be reviewing it. Lindsay wants to know, are there any brushes in your brush pack that are good for hand lettering? Uh, and a tutorial would be nice. So I'll say this, um, I've been practicing hand lettering and I have found that I am exquisitely bad at it. So uh, unfortunately, no, I don't have any plans to do any tutorials on it right now. And also as far as what brushes to use, that's a good question. Most of the brushes that I, I picked out for that pack were brushes that like have textures to them, like textures that I could use within my illustration. So I'm not, 
I, it's not that I don't think that they could, that, like they could be used for lettering, but I don't know if that's specifically what they're for. And since I don't do a lot of lettering, I don't know like what kind of things a letterer might look look for in a particular brush. So I'd say for now, I'm not quite sure. All right, the last question of the day is from Paul. Question about Procreate. I see people using quick shapes and then copying and flipping them and placing them, but I can't figure out a way to copy a quick shape without rasterizing it in Procreate. So unfortunately, Procreate doesn't have um, real vector tools. They're like faux vector tools. And what I mean by that is you draw a shape and then you can go in and you could change the coordinates of the shape. But as soon as you leave that shape creator, it's done, it rasterizes completely. So no, unfortunately, once you draw that in there and flip it and do anything with it, once it's set, it's set, and you can't go in there and change it or anything. So uh, those are the questions for the day. Thank you guys. If you'd like your question answered, just reply to the email that sent you here. If you weren't sent here by an email and don't know what I'm talking about, you can subscribe in the description down below. There is a link. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in a couple of days.